Hello there, I'm going to be taking on Umbra with Melting Remnant today as part of my completionist series, trying to tackle every combination in a row. I've already done that, but I missed some recordings, so I'm making up for that right now. Okay, we got some Entombed Explosives, uh, Cannibalize, Prismal Dust, and we're against the Diligent. Uh, dazed in the Pyre Room is certainly an interesting idea. Um, as is Fossilized Fangs. I like both of these a lot. I kind of wish I knew what my Champion Path options were. Um, which might change my decision. If I'm doing uh, Architect, I think I like Fossilized Fangs a lot more. Uh, if I'm doing Monstrous, I like Light's Gift, I think, uh, although I still need to deal with the bottom row. I'm gonna go with Fossilized Fangs, just a potential there, and we'll do Architect, although Glutton, although Glutton, Glutton without Trample is a bear. I take Architects. And we need to take advantage of Fossilized Fangs. Start Gorging. Hopefully we get another tomb at some point. There we go, perfect. Fortunately this guy is just getting through, that's okay. We should be okay. Four damage shields. Maybe not. Um, let's get this guy out there. Two more damage shields, and we're good to go. I think I'm making a morsel. Not sold on stealth. Uh, it's really hard to make it work when you're gorging, which I will be doing. Um, I already have. I don't have any reforms, uh, and I do have tombs. They kind of like molded. And then the Crucible Warden. Uh, normally, I would say the Crystal Warden is the weaker one, but with Fossilized Fangs, I think it should be enough, at least. So I'm going to go looking for unit upgrades here. Quick is pretty good, I think. And I want Multi-Strike. want to use up those damage shields prematurely. at the point where he will kill this guy, hopefully. Okay, 
three damage shields is pretty good, but that's one as well. Okay, we're good. Space Prism, I will take it. Uh, even with Architect, always happy to get more space. Packed Morsels was another idea as well, but I think looking for... So what would I do five times right now? Um, I don't have a lot. Uh, I could upgrade uh, Making of a Morsel, that's pretty good. Um, but I also would like to get Multi-Strike. So, I'm going to keep looking for it. Alright, I got it. So, feeling much better. And let's remove a train steward. Uh, I think that's okay. I need a little time. Or get a, a tank out of the way. Sacrifice this dude for three morsels. Okay. I think just getting more morsels rather than playing this entombed explosive is fine. Killing the front dude. So let's get you out of there. Need more damage. This should help. There we go. Let's get some more tombs. Okay. Probably should have just played three morsels, but I wanted that making of a morsel. Okay. Well, not any decisions here. Tent on death is not bad with the tombs, it's 50 damage, but um, if I happen to pick up a bounty stalker, it's going to be a lot better. Um, do I pick up it up for a speculative pick, or do I just go with the blazing bolts, which is kind of a more damage thing that's more guaranteed to be useful. And then morsel maker? Okay, I gotta do the math here. So, Morsel Maker is gonna mean I have one, two, three, four, five units, so I have room for two morsels, uh, unit wise, capacity wise. Um, this is gonna be three capacity. Uh, the Warden is gonna be uh, two capacity, and then my Penumbra is ultimately gonna be. Minus one. So I'll have space for one morsel, and then once I get space prism, it'll be two. So I actually like this, especially considering I'm not going to have as much morsel production due to it being the diligent. I think I will take a draw. Get into that space prism ASAP. Really wish I had upgraded spells, but I didn't. 
So now I don't have anything good to do other than the space prism, I suppose. Because uh, a small floor is a thing that could happen to me. I think I can handle this. What I can't handle is those stupid light givers, but I'm just gonna deal with it. Um, I actually can't set up this guy if I pl if I'm not sitting up on the top floor. So I'm gonna sit up on the top floor. going. Uh, I guess save a damage shield? Save a damage shield. Although Morsel would have been better. Damage shield is pretty good. Not bad. Uh, I don't want to risk uh, that. Feast could be good. And Crushing Demise could be good. Uh, just picking good cards. Feast is good because I have most of my capacity taken up by morsels, so if I happen to draw morsels, uh, then it's better. Um, and I'm, I need spell upgrades. I, I haven't upgraded any spells. I think I want to make this a little cheaper. It's good enough without any uh, damage upgrades. Remove consume? I don't think so. Let's get making of a morsel to be a little cheaper. And uh, I still need more spell upgrades, so I'll save my money. Mainly want cost stuff. I think I need uh, some spell damage here. I don't know. I'll put this here speculatively. Put you here. Not great. That didn't work. Get you out of there. I guess this will kill you. No, it won't. Seven unit limit. That's too bad. Okay, 
this is good, I think. Yeah, that kills everybody. Still have 14 damage shields, so we're doing fine. Um, except for you. Uh... Is there anything I can do about that? No, there's nothing I can do about it. Ouch. So, what do I need to do? I need to cut cards? I have card draw. That's good for the diligence specifically. I don't think I need unit upgrades. I guess maybe cutting uh, some more units will help with setup. Since the dregs don't really do anything right now. And get another crushing demise. Okay, dazed. Alright, so we want to place, oh this is kind of hard, I think I'm going to set up in the middle, I don't want these guys to be dazed forever. dying, I don't want to mess with it. Spells in hand. Don't want damage over here. Dazed, okay. So... This is going to do a lot of damage. That's not going to do anything. Spells in hand. Okay, so 105 health. So, I need to feast. So I'm going to play everything else. And now at least I'm breaking through a little bit. I could get Crushing Demise if I'm really lucky. No. Ouch. There's Crushing Demise.
love these um, at all. Okay, so there's arguments to be made for Ember and card draw. I, I don't need capacity because of the architect in these space prisms. I, even on the small floor, I'll have enough to place two morsels, which is all I can fit. Um, card draw means I can get into the specific spells I want to consume more, and maybe Ember Cache is more viable. I'm going to do card draw, I think. My cost curve isn't that bad. And I want to make my spells a little cheaper. Uh, remove consume here I think is good. Um, <laughs> let's make this cheaper. I guess might as well make that cheaper. And save my money for artifacts I think. I like that. means I could uh, block the back units that uh, live through this quick multi-striker and still eat them, uh, potentially. Hmm. This is a little scary uh, because I these guys are going to be in the front, so I'm not sure I'm going to kill everything, and then the pyre is going to take a bunch of damage. I think I have enough money that I don't need to take this trial. Not ideal. Looking for damage. That helps. This helps. Okay, I think we have to do that. Some damage. I'm not worried about damage shields here. Let's uh, get you out of the way. And I guess this works. There we go. Okay, this could help. There we go. More damage. And Ember for next turn. Okay. Okay, so doing the math here. So I'm doing 46 times 2. Uh, does feasting help? I think it technically does, uh, especially if I get a damage morsel here. I think it's worth digging. Nope. Alright, so we're gonna still do it. That no, didn't help at all, so I'm about to die. Yeah, that was a little scary. Um, I think I would have died if I didn't do that, so I probably should have done it with more morsels. Oh, thinking about that, I think I would have, if this guy died, I, I would have been done. Like, this, there's no way this guy makes it through the boss. So I was about to lose my streak there. Um, OK, 
kind of wish I had a way to deal with those guys, but oh well. Void binding. I don't think it's necessary. The the rage part is actually the more enticing bit. I have plenty of damage shields. Uh, I really just need damage. Okay, so kind of want to do something and I want health uh, so could you just combine these sides please all right I'm gonna go for the dupe over the health uh, I think the main thing I'm lacking right now is damage and crushing demise and blazing bolts are two different ways of handling that um, I'm gonna take blazing bolts In this game, an upgrade slot. Okay, <laughs> that is another way to handle my lack of damage. Spending all my money, but I definitely think it's worth it. Uh, I don't know. Is this giving you 10 damage? Actually, that means you kill a backliner. And I can't afford to do anything else, so might as well just give you a little bit more. Remove drags. No wardens. This is sad. I think we put this guy in the back to finish off backliners. Consume this so that I don't get self mutilations um, guaranteed. I mean, there's a chance this will do it. I think we would just want this out of the deck. Looking for damage. Consume this. Lock with this. And I think we want damage here. Okay, we're good over there. Um, I guess Shade Splitter is consumed. I want to save that for next cycle. Consume this. I want to save the reform, I think. Excellent. I consume this. Taking 15 damage to the face right now, unless I take a big gamble. I don't think I want to, because I want to play this down here. Uh, that's too bad. I think I take one damage though, so I can play this. Okay, this is a good turn. 
Um, I think we're gonna start working on this row. I want more damage, so I'm gonna look for damage. Okay, there we go. Damage here saves me next turn. That saves me some damage shields. damage shields, I think we're going to be fine. I was worried I wasn't going to kill this guy with only 15 fire health. Let's look for damage. The life steal is okay. Get this out of the deck. Okay, we're living. We don't have to do crazy ring seven crushing demise with a one in five chance of just losing. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just feel like playing it out. So sue me. Um, Certainly not one of my smoothest runs, but uh, pulled it off uh, with a, a crushing demise in Ring 7, uh, being the difference between living or dying. Uh, let me go to the run summary. Yeah, so Ring 7 here, uh, I, I would have lost 100% if I had hit the Crucible Warden, but I also would have lost if I didn't play the Crushing Demise, so uh, that was a, a big risk, big reward situation. Um, so we got another one under our belts. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. In the next one, we will be circling back around. Uh, no, we're back to Melting Rector Flicker with Umbra. So. Not sure uh, which which path to go here with Shade Splitter or uh, Plink. They both have merits. Melting doesn't have uh, a way to hit backliners, and Plink kind of does that. Um, but also, Rector Flicker is a very good gorger if you happen to do the Burnout Champ. Uh, so we'll see that in the next video. See you then.